My name is Tim Leslie. I'm a guide here at the Soldiers and Sailors Monument. Um, I've been here since 2005. We're down in the tunnels down below in the Soldiers and Sailors Monument. We're about to give a brief tour of what this entails here down below. <laughs> I'm Ted Prassi. I'm the president of the Monument Commission, which is responsible for maintaining and presenting this fine Civil War monument to the public. We had a great opportunity during the Republican National Convention to show ourselves, not only to the people who came to visit, but also to the police that came from all across the country, from California, Indianapolis, Georgia, Texas, and many of them used the monument as a central spot to not only stop, but to have their small group pictures taken. We were happy that they were here. We were happy to, to uh, host them, in essence, during the convention. Uh, Tim Daly, Executive Director, Cuyahoga County Soldiers and Sailors Monument. The panel behind me represents the celebration of two pieces of federal legislation. The first is the Emancipation Proclamation that allowed for the cre ultimately for the creation of the United States Color Troops. And the United States Color Troops are represented by the freed African American being armed with a cartridge box and a musket. So we have in Cuyahoga County the names of 21 gentlemen who served in the United States Color Troops. Of the 21 gentlemen, 18 of them were African American and the other three were their white officers. So this panel helps to bring together a unity of both the emancipation of the freed African American and then him being allowed to fight for the continuation and the preservation of the Union.